Good afternoon. Here's a look at the latest radar and cloud cover we have. Of course, we've been stuck under the gray in a lot of places today. And now starting to see the uh, rain showers coming in and thunderstorms as well. Uh, those are mainly off to the south and east. So looking at rain more likely over toward Fergus Falls and Wapiton Breckenridge. And then there's a secondary area of rain uh, over toward Bismarck as well. And we're kind of in between those two main areas of rainfall and thunderstorms here this afternoon. Afternoon. So we're kind of lucking out here a little bit. If you didn't want to see the rain, of course, there's still chances for it, and we may end up getting some of that in the Fargo Moorhead area because of what you see here. Fergus Falls getting the rain pushing in right now in southern Ottertail County, back over into Wilkin and Wapiton Brecken Ridge, getting hit by a good dose of rain at the moment. And this whole line moving northward, so it may ride up right along I 29 and into the Fargo Moorhead area here uh, within the next half hour to an hour or so. So we might get a quick shot of that as that again uh, presses northward. Uh, and then there's a little bit over toward Carrington as well on the eastern end of this, uh, the next round of rain that's off to the uh, west of us here. So this is that initial blast. It's kind of robbing us of that moisture uh, here in the valley. We're seeing a lot of storms associated with that in southern parts of Minnesota. We've got that quiet, a little lull in between, and then the showers off to the west. And that's going to be what kind of swings back and impacts us through the next 24 hours or so. Here's a look at our temperatures. 60s, we're up to 70 now in Fargo, so nice and mild out there. A little bit of wind, up to 18 miles per hour in Bemidji, the rest of us in that 5 to 15 mile per hour range. So here's a look at that hour by hour planner. We're going to see these rain showers lifting northward. Some of these storms more likely in our southeastern viewing area, though we may see some of that again in the Fargo Moorhead area too, extending back over toward Jamestown. And then these kind of lift northward a little bit into the evening hours as well. Temperatures in the 60s to some low 70s. And we kind of get on that, that dry pocket of this system too. So we're going to, in the Southern Valley, I should say, in the Northern Valley, still chances for some rain showers late tonight. We do have a a marginal risk for some uh, severe weather in the far southern valley for today. So here's a look at our hour by hour planner for tomorrow. This is through to tonight and into tomorrow morning. We're going to again be kind of quiet for a moment and then that precip and moisture that's out to the west will eventually start working its way eastward. You can see where that low is. This is swirling around that. So eastern North Dakota in the morning hours, you'll likely be seeing the rain showers. And then that swirl will continue advancing toward the east into Minnesota into the day afternoon hours tomorrow. Temperatures in the 60s, trying to get to 70, but it's going to be tough to get there with the clouds and the rain showers and thunderstorms too. And some of these could produce some stronger thunderstorms uh, where we're on the uh, warmer side of this system. So something to keep in mind for your Friday as well. So things quieting down after that. But look at our rainfall potential. We're kind of in a lull in between two major areas of rain, though there are chances in some of those heavier storms to get maybe up to an inch of rain, in fact. Now, over the next couple of days, unsettled. But as we move into the weekend, we'll clear out. And by then, temperatures back into the 70s and sunshine. Sounds good. We'll look forward to that for sure.